Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Vlog Mail. This time for the month of June 2018. Also, we're shooting this in the day, which probably doesn't seem like a huge deal, but it's actually a very big deal because we almost never shoot these in the day. And uh, when you shoot them in the day, you run into wildly different lighting conditions. Lighting conditions. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll probably vary between over and underexposed the entire video. That's okay. Let's get started with our featured leather for the month, which is from... Leah in Menominee, Wisconsin. And Leah's leather says... Dear Stephen Amow, hello! My name is Leah and I have been a fan since 2012 of the vlog and Stephen Plays. I'm also an avid fan of Mao Makes and bought a phone case from you. I want to say thank you for being the amazing content creators you are. I go to UW Stout. That sounds familiar. Menominee sounds familiar too, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I know, but it's that's the, that's where you went to school. That's, yeah, I graduated Did you know? from there. Didn't know if you knew. That's where my degree is from. <laughs> and I am... Uh, I'm double majoring in early childhood and special education. I always have your videos playing while I do my homework. Your videos have helped me through some tough times and have shown me that uh, life gets better. In one of your Q&As, Mal talks about her love for Steven being like having a bucket that always gets bigger and I have that in my home. On a lighter note, uh, I liked how your last visit to Jugga Conroy, another favorite YouTuber, you gave him logos for Mother and Earthbound, and now we have a reboot of Earthbound. I have loved both yours and his playthroughs. Thank you again, and I will send gifts with my next letter from Leah. P.S. We all want the Stephen cookbook with Mama George's recipes, too. Leah, I am sure that when we finally get around to the cookbook, we will... Include. We're, we're almost like legally obligated to include uh, some of my mother's recipes, and we'll make sure that those get uh, included for sure. Yeah, anyway, for sure. Leah, thank you for your leather. Uh, now we're gonna move on to our boxes and packages and things. And there's a healthy stack. A healthy stack. A healthy stack here, uh, here in June. Letter for us. All right, Stephen Amau. Hey, Stephen Amau. It's so wild to me that I've been watching you guys since my junior year of high school, and now I'm about to start my third year of college. Dang, time flies. I've sent in a postcard before and have made you guys shout out my friend, Kelsey, on Extra Life a few times before, which she hates, so be expecting to do that again this year. But I haven't actually gotten around to sending a package until now. I'm obsessed with Mal's artwork, but since I am a broke college student, uh, all I can afford of her artwork is a few stickers I've plastered all over my laptop. Mal's pursuit of her art has helped uh, inspire me to pursue my dreams with writing. So I have left you guys a copy of the first edition of my poetry book. I spent all spring semester with a small group of poets where we all worked to self-publish our very own poetry books. I know the cover uh, isn't all that exciting. Graphic design is not something I'm good at uh, in the slightest. However, I'm still very proud of what I accomplished in a semester. I've also sent you guys two random uh, DS games. I have no idea if either of you have any interest in these games, but I'm not doing anything with them, so I figured why not send them? Keep being amazing, you two. Sincerely, Caitlin. Zarzechny. Oh, I got it. Caitlin Zarzechny. It says, P.S. My book is available on Amazon and it can be found by searching my name, Caitlin Zar Zarzechny. Uh, it is also available via lulu.com. You can search either my name or the book title for that one. Me, Myself, and Time. A self reflective piece. Caitlin Zarzechny. Oh, this is really, really cool. And uh, there's. You know, all these different poems in the front from the contents. And the acknowledgement says, uh, I, I would like to say thanks to the ones I love, to the ones I loved, and to the ones I love uh, for helping me to become the person I am today, as well as helping me continue on a path of self-growth. Self so I've opened up to uh, one of the poems, and this poem is called, You Are a Memory. You let yourself become a burnt picture. I can no longer remember what it was of. All I can remember now is burning. Up in flames, you became disfigured, I did as well. Why did you set this flame only to hurt yourself in the end? So that is a sampling of uh, some of the, the poetry that is in Me, Myself, and Time, a self-reflective piece. And then the, uh, the DS games that are in here are Scribble Knots Unlimited and uh, Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island. Sounds intense. It Doesn't it? Like overly intense? Overly intense. And why? It's an entire island. Why can't they share? Why do they have to fight over it? It just seems unnecessary. My island. <laughs> like the like like Tommy Pickles. 
got, got, got like a machete and he's gonna kill SpongeBob to make sure that he gets the entire, I don't know how it works, so I, that might be a bit of an over-exaggeration. Either way, Caitlin, thank you for sending this stuff our way. Our next package is from Matt in Winstead, Minnesota. I'm, I'm sorry, Win Winstead? Winstead, Minnesota. Win Winstead. 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 Or Wins Ted. I don't think it matters. There's here's a, the letter. Here's the letter. Uh, it says, hey oh, Stephen Amount. After I saw the vlog on how many GameCube games you needed, I got to the used game store I go to and found a few gems for you. Hope you still need them. Otherwise, here is some trading fodder for you. Either way, uh, glad I was able to help out and joy from Matt. Matt, thank you. Um, and honestly, there, uh, there may be a few GameCube games this month, just because mm -hmm. Uh, it was not that long ago that we made that vlog that was like, hey, we are trying to get these final GameCube games, so we appreciate it. So let's see what's uh, what's in here. We've Harry Potter got... and his big friend. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Which one is that, movie-wise? Second. You don't, you're not sure? Third one? I don't know how much you know about the Harry Potter series. I mean, I know it's not the first. One. Okay. See, I don't. That's Chamber of Secrets. Oh, okay. Right. I think. And is that where the dog is? I think. Is the dog in the Chamber of Secrets? It's been a while. It would have been a cooler title if they called it Harry Potter and that big dog. <laughs> Harry Potter and his big friend and that dog. Harry Harry po Harry Potter and Clifford go on an adventure. Anyway, so uh, Harry Potter, NHL 2K3 Sega Sports. Cool. Excellent. Thank you. The Simpsons Road Rage. <laughs> I had that on PS2. I really love the box art for this game. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, it's really, it's really good. I like it a lot. I also am not super familiar with The Simpsons, but I've become a little more familiar because of like. I grew up with it. Yeah, yeah. because of growing up with. Well, because of being with you who grew up with yes. it. Yes. Uh, Capcom versus SNK2 EO. I think is the official title. I'm not really sure what all those things mean. Well, Capcom and SNK, I guess, yes. Capcom versus SNK. And it's the second game, but what does EO? Does it say? It doesn't even say. Is it like electronic, uh, uh, I was gonna say audition? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what the EO part of this title means. Anyway, this one, this one has been surprisingly difficult to find. You have no idea, so thank you for that. Beautiful Joe, Red Hot Rumble. That also is really great box art. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Um, Matt, thank you so much. Uh, again, there's probably gonna be, my guess is uh, a lot of GameCube games um, like this month and then also- uh, Next month. Probably next mm -hmm. month. So like next two, maybe three months, we're just gonna be getting in a lot of GameCube games and we sincerely appreciate the help. So thank you. Our next package is from Melbourne, Florida but there's no name on the return and there is uh, no letter inside, but this is inside. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Literally, that's actually really funny. Like I figured that we would have duplicates even within mail videos, um, just because there was like, there's not that many GameCube games left. We had a call for them. So I assumed that we were going to be getting duplicates. The fact that the very last game, the very last thing we showed was literally the same game is very funny to me. But um, like Matt said uh, in his letter, uh, anything, any duplicates that we get, uh, it does become Trade Father. Like it turns into other GameCube games. So if we get multiple copies of the same game, we generally just go through and pick out like the best qualities of, you know, all of them. And then we take the other ones and we, we, take, it, we take it to roll in at player's choice. And ultimately it becomes another game. So, for this person who I don't, with, there was no name at all? No, unless there's a note in the inside of it. There is. Good call, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. That's a smart, okay, well, guess what? There's a letter. Dear Stephen Amell, hi, my name is Natalia. Here is the beautiful Joe uh, GameCube game that you were missing from your collection. It doesn't have the manual, sadly, but I'm sure another fan uh, possibly has it that can send it to you. Beautiful Joe is, uh, one of my favorite games, but uh, I never had anyone to play this game with. Hopefully it finds a better home in your care. Always a fan of the uh, game channel, Malmakes, and of Stephen Vlog. With love, Natalia. Natalia, thank you. Um, and again, 
it's it, it's really wild to me that we got two identical copies of the same game, like literally back to back. But uh, we're, we'll just take the best pieces of each game, make a super game, and then we'll uh, trade in the other one to get something else that we're missing. So thank you for ultimately contributing to the GameCube collection and also to this year's Extra Life. Our next package is from Quinn in Spencer, Massachusetts. Okay, and Quinn sends... There's letter a, on top. There's a letter right on top, and this says... Dear Stephen and Mallory, Hello, how are you this fine day slash evening slash whatever? I guess it's still technically day. Mm -hmm. This is my first time writing to you, so I would like to say that you two are some of the best YouTubers I've ever watched, and you manage to cheer me up whenever I'm down. For that reason, I've decided to send you some of my childhood games slash other media. The list is uh, down below. I give you the best, and good luck moving forward. Yours truly, Quinn, aka Retro64. Well, thank you, Quinn. And there is a list, so I'll just read the list, uh -huh. and you pull, pull out. out the things the thing. yes. on the, you got it. Games list. Uh, this one is inside the Starfy box, since I did not have the original box. Spy Hunter slash Super Sprint for GBA. This was one of my first video games, two of Midway's classics. Now, have you ever played Spy Hunter on an actual no, ar arcade machine? No, I don't machine? think I have. Um, I don't know why I have weird, like, memories of, of playing that, but yeah. um, I feel almost certainly that Player's Choice has one like in the back that they haven't finished refurbishing. Mm -hmm. When they get that out on the floor, you should play it. Okay. It's uh, it's fun. Something. It's I mean, it, it, it's good. It's just it's old. Yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like GTA because it's like top down car game. Uh, the Legendary Starfy DS. This was one of my favorite games as a kid. Funny story. When I first opened the box, there were two copies. Really, I didn't know what to do with the other one for the longest time. So here you go. That's amazing. <laughs> That's really cool. That's like the weirdest manufacturing error ever. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a similar situation, but it wasn't with a game. It was with a DVD. You oh, so uh -huh. you know what I'm I talking, know what about. talking about? We bought the Seinfeld Complete Collection, and you know they they come in all of these little sleeves because there's like 50 discs or whatever. And we were making our way through the collection, and then one of the random discs for like season seven. I pulled out the disc and it was like really tight in there. And I was like, what the heck? So I pulled out the disc and under it was another disc. So we have two of, of the, the same disc. The same, there, yeah. yeah, with like Kramer's face on it or whatever. And it was funny. Anyway, A Boy and His Blob for Wii, a remake of an obscure NES game. This game was very hard for me as a kid. I finally beat it this year and I probably wouldn't pick it back up again, but it's still a solid game. You know, I've actually it's never really good box art. I've never played the Wii version, but I've uh, I've played a good bit of the NES game. Did you ever play the no. NES? It's like, it's this. It's really like it's it's that <laughs> man. Like you walk around with this blob, and you have jelly beans, and they're all different colors, mm -hmm. and you like choose one from the menu, and you flick it, and the blob eats it, and then he turns into like something. Okay. So like the brown ones make him a ladder or something. So you have to like use him to get through, mm -hmm. but you only have a certain amount of jelly beans, so you have to be careful and, and like figure out how to use them. I assume the Wii version is probably very similar. Uh, all right, boom blocks for the Wii. This is a wacky, fun, physics-based puzzle game produced by, get this, Steven, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg and EA. That's weird. Uh, story time, Steven, not you, wanted to be involved with a video game, but didn't know which console to put it on, so he asked his kids which one they liked best, and they said the Wii. So he made a game for the Wii. Interesting. I'm gonna be honest, of all of the games to have Steven Spielberg on the cover, Boom Blocks is not really the one that I would have assumed. <laughs> Anyway, and then finally, The Iron Giant DVD. This was one of my favorite childhood movies, directed by Brad Bird, director of The Incredibles. Solid movie and one I think you'll like. Um, I have seen The Iron Giant, but it has I been... I haven't. Really? Mm -mm. I've seen it, but it's been... A long time? It's been a while. It's been 10 years at the very least. But yeah, it's a, it's like a classic. I know it is, I just haven't seen it. No, I feel like you and you specifically would really like it. It's um, It's good. It's really, really good. Anyway, um, Quinn, thank you so much for sending all this stuff our, our way. That's uh, that's awesome. And, you know, I feel like I had known about the Steven Spielberg thing, but I had forgotten which game it was. The fact that it's Boomblocks is like, it's, it's a, is this a puzzle game? Because it looks like a puzzle game. I don't, yeah, it kind of looks like, I don't know. It just seems weird that Steven Spielberg made a puzzle game. Like he's like the narrative guy. Shouldn't he have made like a story game? 
I don't know. Anyway, Quinn, thank you again. Next up, we have a package from Adam in Lindenwold, New Jersey. This is hard to do. Mouse. When I have a brace on. Mouse still opening. Oh yeah, we, um, Mal, Mal. I just heard it a little bit, I'm fine. Yeah, um, not, not to date the content, but we just got back. Uh, from the uh, Southeast Game Exchange, and um, Mao hurt her hand a little bit. Somehow. She thinks that she held the, the canvas the funny. the canvas and painting. Normally she works on the easel and she was holding it funny and she feels like she hurt her hand. Anyway, uh, this says, this is your leather. Yes it is, yes it is. So we've got a little callback to the dyslexic heart bear there. And inside, the leather says, Dear Stephen and Mao and those cute little kitties too, my name is Adam and I'm 26, but perhaps you've seen my occasional comments as Jeff the Magician on your YouTube channels. Maybe? I sure hope so. Adam? Yes. Although I do wonder why your username is Jeff the Magician and not Adam the Magician. But that's fine. Uh, anyway, I first found you, Steven, through your Grand Theft Auto V LP in 2013, and you've had my side splitting ever since. I love your humor and how uh, you genuinely enjoy each game you make an LP of. Well, maybe not so much the Amnesia games or those frustrating late game Pikmin 2 days. I started taking the journey in 2014 and only just reached the up-to-date old timeline in the end of June. Uh, seeing the day-to-day -day of your life with Mal, the Astronicats, and all your awesome friends is always a treat and is a guaranteed way to bring a smile to my face. I spent most of 2015 through 2017 getting my medical degree, which became many long days of clinical training and studying. However, I always came home to new content from you two, and that helped me stay positive and happy through the whole time. I sincerely thank you for all the great content and many laughs. I obviously saw you first, Mao, as Steven's girlfriend in the college vlogs and the player two in several of Steven's LPs, but later I really came to adore you and the sweet dynamic you two share. You support each other so much, and there's just a warm happiness I get from seeing you so happy together. I have a few close people in my life who are teachers, and for a while I was just like Steven, listening to how mean and rude some kids can be. I'm so glad you got out of that depressive zone you were in before it affected your passion for teaching. I just adore all the paintings you do, Mao. Your talent is amazing and it's very inspiring to not just me, but all your fans and subscribers. So I've sent on some, uh, I've sent on over some of the GameCube games you needed for the collection and for Extra Life 2018. I've had so much enjoyment out of these games in years past, so they could use a new place to rest. Hoping for the funds to get you to play one of these games for Extra Life. That's all for me. Hope you have many wonderful days ahead, filled with good health and with no more root canals or organ removals. Though watching Loopy Steven is full core workout of laughter. With the warmest regards, Adam. Adam, thank you. That was a, a wonderful, wonderful letter. And um, I'm glad that we've helped you get through your- Medical school. Medical school. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how much credit I can take, but I also helped Adam get through medical school. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. And it seems like you've been enjoying our stuff for for quite some time. So let's take a look at the, the GameCube games. Uh, if, if, if there's a copy of Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble, I will I will split my sides. Tie three, the Tasmanian Tiger, which um, I've never played, but I hear is uh, the, the whole tie series, like people really, really enjoy. It's, I think it's pretty similar. It's like a 3D platforming thing. Uh, One Piece Grand Battle, Shonen Jumps, One Piece, and Metabots Infinity. You'd be surprised how difficult this uh, Natsume game. This game is to find. It might be because of that, like uh, because it's a Natsume game. Awesome. And you'll never you. believe it. No way. <laughs> Get out. Are you serious? <laughs> this <laughs> this mail video, like it almost has to be titled like. The beautiful Joe yeah, mail video. Yeah, the gonna be all of them. Yes, this is um, this is great. I, it's fine. It's fine. And like I knew that there were gonna be duplicates. We've actually done pretty good. Yeah. Um, on duplicates, but like it's just it's really funny to me. Did it start raining? It did start raining. It's coming down hard too. It is coming down hard. Well, you never know what you're gonna get. Today you're getting rain, so that's that's fun. Um, wow. The Adam. Thank, thank you so much for sending this stuff our way, and uh, <laughs> I, I really, I, I almost want Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble to be played now. Oh, just, I do. Just because of the hilarity of this specific mail video. There's also a few more packages. Will we find more Beautiful Joes? Will we find more Beautiful Joes next month? It's possible. We just uh, we have to see what our stack of Beautiful Joes will be like by the end. Um, 
Again, Adam, thank you so much for, for the great leather and for sending this stuff our way. Our next package is from Ann and Crystal in Penn Hills, Pennsylvania, and we got Sagan. It's like you're censoring him. Like Sagan, right here. Is he on the table? He's on the table. He's not supposed to be on the table. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed... I think he's using it because he wanted to look out and see the, the rain and stuff. He's giving me love eyes. <laughs> You know what? <sighs> He's real cute. He's just... he, yeah, I know. I know. I'm bad at training. Get down. <laughs> get down. Come on. Get down. There you go. Uh, no, you're walking on the table. No, get down. Get th there we go. Okay. Good oh boy. Good, 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 good cat. All right. Here's a letter from Ann and Crystal. All right. And this says, Dear Stephen Mao and unfairly adorable felines, which we, <laughs> I guess we're just speaking to, have a hobbit birthday box. Not sure how much you know about the Lord of the Rings universe, but hobbits give other people presents on their birthdays. Since July contains both uh, our birthdays, giving each other presents seems like cheating, so we're sending some to you instead. Speaking of animals, while we humans were away for a few days in May, our house sitter, aka sister Antonia, would play episodes of Stephen Vlog for Buddy and Brando as the dulcet tones of your voices got the dogs to settle down and to stop barking. Congratulations, you're now part of the family. Or could burgle our house without consequences, Whatever floats your boat. This calming method for the dogs has been very helpful to us recently as well, since big fireworks became street legal in Pennsylvania this year, and people have been letting off a ridiculous amount of them all month. Buddy, our big dog, does not like the Kaboom Sparkle, and has to check on his humans, his puppy, and his cats every time it happens, then cuddles us and shivers until he feels better. Listening to vlogs helps him get calm uh, quicker, so thanks for that. Uh, thanks also for your first 20 of Paper Mario Color Splash. We picked it up the next day and have been enjoying it greatly. Eagerly awaiting the Zelda Breath of the Wild Let's Play as it seems like a perfect game for the two of you to tag team. Such a huge map to run around and explore. So many creatures for Mal to declare friends and try to hug. <laughs> Should be awesome. And would like to um, thank Steven for something that happened during the TRG Coliseum D&D session. I was drinking water at the precise moment you screamed, I want my alimony in character as Brenda, and the living room rug has never been the same. Wondering if you know, did Mr. Jepson name his character Barry on purpose? The answer to that is no. Jepson had no idea about our Cat World Let's Play and did not even know that had like, no idea. he had a character named Barry or anything. Um, now, it was obviously a joke for the donors yeah. because they knew, and that's why they named that character Brenda. It's just... It was really funny to me, and like whenever, um, whenever Tom uh, picked out all the stuff, like yeah. Tom didn't know either. So he he went with this like Brenda character for Barry, and it's just a huge joke to me and everyone that's watched the Cat World LP. But Josh and Tom were not in on it, which is great. <laughs> the chat on stream went nuts asking about Larry Pesh and Frog, and no, I don't really blame you for the rug. If anyone, I should blame myself since I'm the one who donated to suggest Brenda. So it was you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, 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 the the funny thing is that like Josh and Tom were not in on the joke, and they helped construct this big thing, and it was funny on its own. Like it, yeah. it was funny just to watch. If you didn't know about Cat World. Yeah, but like it's funnier if you know about Cat World. And there's the overexposure. Guess what I'll do? I'll just lean up here and say, "Hey, get down with Joe 800 ISO self." That's. It's a little bit better. But next up, another bit of Colonial Williamsburg for you because Anne and Crystal are huge fans of Colonial Williamsburg and we've actually gotten more than one package, I think, in the past from them so. related yeah. to all of that. Uh, Anne was back there with her parents earlier this month hoping to break a long-standing family vacation curse involving things like food poisoning, 5 a.m. fire alarms, and the sliding door falling off of our minivan. Oh my God. Wow. I just, I, I was like, is there any, no, there's no further explanation. I'd be very curious to hear the full story of that. Um, I'm pleased to report success in this endeavor, as we had an undisastrous trip involving shooting a flintlock musket, throwing axes, and my being set up as a fancy dancing, husband stealing trollop. It's a long story. While there, I discovered CW now does uh, rose water and orange scented soaps, along with the lemon, lavender, bayberry, and castile we sent you in our first box. Please enjoy. So there's all sorts of... Uh, more soaps. More soaps. I, we were there in March, April. April. And they did, they did not have these then. Oh, so that's like super new. I think so. Very, very new. Mm -hmm. Underneath that we have, to use a Stevenism, some Vigigames. 
It's true. They're video. Well, what else would you call them? They're video games. They're they're video games. They're video games. Um. <laughs> Pac-Man World 2 and Pac-Man Versus for GameCube, which I believe you do not currently own. Uh, Eminem's Beach Party for the Wii. Games... I can't wait to what play this. What even... What, like, I just want to think through the marketing <laughs> aspect of... Like, who came up with this? Mars. We want it... Well, yeah, but like, we gotta do it like an Eminem. What if they were like... Oh, whatever, they were at the beach. And playing beach sports like kayaking and beach volleyball. Anyway, um, and Wipeout for the Wii. I haven't seen that show in forever, but I loved watching that show. Because it reminded me of, um, what's the show, the, the uh, Japanese show that they dubbed MXP, over? A MXC. Um, Taka's, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. Takahashi's Castle? Was the original? Anyway, uh, which nobody should own, but now you do. <laughs> if you ever feel that you have too many friends and would like to thin them out, just ask the losing candidates to play Wipeout with you. After one round with those controls, they'll never speak to you again. Alternatively, uh, if you want, to, if you wanted to be a massive troll at this year's ChefCon, you could play Wipeout the game. Since you're trying to eat healthy these days, we downsized our selection of tasty items, though not their quality. Thus, two bags of miniature Stroop waffles. Ooh, waffles. Oh, they're tiny. Because we've only had the, the, the big, big ones, ones that you uh -huh. sit on your cup. There's maple ones and then caramel ones. Traditionally, these crunchy sandwich cookies sit on top of a mug of hot beverage to melt the caramel inside. But since they're so small, you'll have to set them on a spoon over the mug. Or just, you know, eat them straight up. One bag is plain caramel and the other is maple, but both are delicious. As for Steven's request on a vlog, we found them. We have four packages of giant chewy sweet tarts from Grandpa Joe's candy shop at the Strip District. They do exist. There's, there's a lot of them right here. They do exist and they're right here. Um, did I ever, I can't remember if I vlogged that. It's not out. I don't know if I ever actually included it. No. Um, so long story about these. We ended up finding some, or someone sent them to us. We or found them. We found them. I found them in a gas station. That's right. On whenever the we way were way to Coliseum. Yes, and I think what happened is that we didn't talk about it, and I was going to do a vlog on it, like like enjoying them. Like, oh man, I opened them and I dropped almost all of them immediately onto the floor, and I was just like, I, it was this this ridiculous moment where I'm like, I've looked for these things forever. I found them, I brought them home, I'm excited, I'm gonna consume them, and I spilled them all onto the floor. Or like in the sink or something, it was like you couldn't eat it, them. Yeah, I couldn't eat them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, cool. And then I threw it away. So now... <laughs> you have four packages the, the to not mess up. The likelihood of me spilling all 16 of these onto the floor of the sink is very low, so thank you. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to actually get some of them into my mouth hole. Uh, this is an evil place which stocks pretty much every candy ever invented, has a wall of refrigerators full of fancy sodas, lots of Jones in there, along with Crystal's favorite, balls, and recently added a parlor which serves both ice cream and edible cookie dough. Worth a stop if you ever get to Pittsburgh. Crystal spotted our next item at a local store and thought of you immediately. Meet the Gears of War Judgment Collector's Edition Player's Guide with digital content included. Fun check. Shiny check. Another potential napping spot for your cats? Check. See? Something for everybody. <laughs> I just really like the art. I really like that art. Also seeing Judgment reminds me of, uh, there's a movie that Judgment is written the same way. Is it a uh, Terminator movie? Is there a Terminator Judgment movie? I don't know, if, if there is, I haven't seen it, but it's sticking out in my head for some reason. Uh, and finally, hiding under the big old book, we have some stickers for Mal. Why? Don't be silly, stickers don't need a reason. They're awesome in and of themselves, just like you guys. They're Thanks. super cute stickers. They're itsy bitsy, in fact. Uh, thanks a million for being yourselves and for sharing that awesomeness with us. Many hugs, much love, and as always, well, you know the rest. Bark, ba bark, 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 from Anne and Crystal. Thank you. Uh, this is an uh, excellent little package, and um, I always very much enjoy your letters. They're, um, I like, I enjoy the tone in which they are Lots written. of personality. Yes, there's a lot of personality and they're fun to read. And that's very, I mean, it's meaningful for me, but I feel like the other, the flip side of that is that, you know, there's several thousand people like watching the video as a entertainment thing. 
and they they are going to be entertained by the the writing in here. So I appreciate that. And uh, I'm you know I'm I'm glad that we've continued to entertain you guys, and uh, I'm glad that uh, you went out and got Color Splash, the Paper Mario game. Oh, and these these I'm excited about too. Um, the Paper Mario game didn't get enough love, and no. uh, I'm glad that uh, you know it was sent in to us, and then I decided to cover it, and uh, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. At some point, me and you should go through some of the Paper Mario titles. Yeah. Specifically the first one, because I've never played through the entire thing. Me either. Maybe someday. Anyway, Anne and Crystal, thank you again. Last but certainly not least, we have a package from Alexander in Ronert Park, California. Or Ronert. Or Ronert. Maybe Ronert. It's, it's H, so it's, it's a hard <laughs> O sound. Uh, dear Stephen and Mal, uh, I don't know how to start this, but I'm going to cut right to the chase. Inside of the package, alongside this letter, are games that I do not want and doubt you have gotten for your collection, as they are not for systems you are likely going to try to complete. Some of them are in cases, while others are in a Ziploc bag. There are also a bunch of magic cards that I've been given uh, by my brother, even though I've only played three times in my life. So have fun with extremely common cards and maybe some good stuff. Another thing in there is an arrangement for uh, Druida Valley that is a duet between a clarinet and a guitar, so the two of you could have fun with that if Mouse still has her clarinet, because we have not heard about it since the vlog titled Clarinet. Uh, on the arrangement, uh, it might look like there are two guitar parts, but they are the exact same because I don't know which method Steven uses to read guitar music. Uh, <laughs> I can't read, I can, I mean, I could get through tablature, but I can't actually read music. Anyway, I wanted to say that I've been watching the vlogs since they've been coming out, since around PAX Prime 2014. Steven plays since Donkey Kong Country Returns, and Mal makes from the point where it's first announced in the vlog, which was weird because the vlogs were behind, so the first painting I actually saw was the Earthbound painting. Anyway, uh, watching you guys gives me hope for myself that I can find someone I love while making a living doing what I want. Um, and still living a happy life. Hope that I can uh, also have and keep many friends. Sincerely, Alex. Alex, thank you. So let's take a look uh, first at uh, this arrangement for Geruda Valley. And I, <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh boy. So uh, <laughs> there is tab. Oh, so there is tab in here. Acoustic guitar and then tab and then clarinet. So it is, yes. The clarinet part looks. Yeah, I can. Uh, Looks something I can definitely do. I can. I can read. Uh, I can read tablature. Uh, at some point in the future, I might learn to read music again. I had to learn how to read it in college because I took a class on it. Me, me, Alex, Dan, and Taylor took a music uh, class, and I learned how to read music and be able to, you know, play some stuff on the piano. And then I never did it, and I promptly lost all that information. So uh, maybe at some point I'll be able to actually do that. I need right. reads for my clarinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a while before you can do that. All right, we've got Spider-Man 3 for the Nintendo DS and Transformers Bark at the Moon. Dark of the Moon. <laughs> Bark. I, I thought it was an Ozzy Osbourne like licensed game. <laughs> Transformers Bark at the Moon. Uh, we also got Sonic Advance plus Sonic Pinball Party. These are games that were originally sold on their own and then uh, they got like grouped together on one cart. We've got uh, 007 Quantum of Solace for the Nintendo DS and also Nintendogs Dalmatian and Friends for the Nintendo DS. Here's uh, Klonoa 2 Dream Champ Tournament and Madagascar Operation Penguin for the GBA as well as Greg Hastings Tournament to Paintball Maxed, but Maxed has four letters. The E has been replaced simply with an apostrophe. Uh, we've also got for Mr. George Stevens. I've said apparently on the vlog before that my father enjoys ketchup, which is true, so we actually have just straight up ketchup. Uh, then there is a preposterous amount of magic cards. Like, it's it's like a block. Like, you could throw this at someone and it would probably cause them a concussion. It's like a brick. It is a brick. It's a brick, it's heavy. It's really heavy, it's funny. So there's there's uh, there's commons in here, but um, there also apparently could be some other things. We'll have to take a look through that later. So I'll set that over there. And uh, should read because it's good and you would like it with, uh, the only, with only the first 150, an interesting theme. Pokemon, and it says Pokemon Adventures. Is this like the beginning beginning? 
Maybe, I don't know. I read a, um, I read a comic. It looked like this, like the, the same style a long time ago. I wonder if this is the, I wonder if this is it. I wonder if this is what I read. I don't know. I, it wasn't it wasn't packaged like this though. They were, um, I think they were thinner. I don't know. I'm almost starting to wonder if maybe it was included in like Nintendo Power and that's how I read it. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, that's cool. And there's also olives. Lindsay California sliced <laughs> olives. Okay, there's food. <laughs> Skylanders Swamp Force? Swamp Force. Swamp Force! Not Swamp Force, so although that could be an infinitely better game for the Nintendo 3DS. We've got a Nintendo DS game, X-Men Destiny, Transformers, Bark at the Moon. <laughs> Nintendo 3DS. Uh, Call of Duty 3 for the Wii. There's also Sonic and the Black Knight. Sonic goes back in time and gets a sword for some reason. Uh, Toy Story Mania, I don't remember that film. Must have been a, like a spin-off. Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the Wii. And Tony Hawk Shred. Big Air, bigger tricks. This is a Speed Racer game for Wii? Speed Racer, the video game. Mal, do you see which Speed Racer this is? This is, I think, the one based on the movie. That's yeah. why it's Warner Brothers. Yeah. Was that movie any good? I don't know. I never I'm saw the sure. movie. We've also got uh, Operation Flashpoint Red River for the 360 and Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars for the 360, and another M&M's game for Wii? Kart racing. Really. So they go to the beach and they also race carts. There's a, there was a lot of games in there. Yeah. It says carnival games would make for an interesting first 20. Dang. Um, Alex, I'm covered in a cat, because he jumped back up here. But then also, uh, a ton of games. There's just games all over the place. So uh, thank you for sending in all that stuff. Um, the, it seemed like there was two copies of Bark at the Moon? Dark of the Moon? Bark at the Moon. It's an infinitely better title. They could have just played Ozzy Osbourne music the whole time. I would have been a, I would have been a great fan. That sounds like it would have been a fun time. Um, but thank you so much for sending this stuff in. Uh, for everyone that's sending stuff this month, we certainly appreciate it. And uh, <laughs> ne never forget, <laughs> never forget the the three <laughs> beautiful Joes. It's it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Get it? Because it's like beautiful. I but I got it you, the first time. You, yep. You got it. Oh, this was developed by Clover. Oh, well, that's cool. Clover's not around anymore. So it's. <laughs> They, uh, I, did, Clover also made Okami. I'm like 95% sure of that. I don't know, if I'm wrong, then people will let me know. And if I'm right, they'll say, yes, you, you did it. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have something that you'd like to send in, the address and all of the info is in the description box down below. And again, thank you to everyone who sent stuff our way. This was uh, awesome. This really helped pad out the GameCube collection. And then also the Wii collection. There's a, <laughs> a wild amount of Wii games here. Um, maybe it won't be too far off in the future. We'll be going for Wii and we'll be getting all of the amazing titles like... Imagine Party Baby. I was going to say M&M's Kart Racing and Beach Party, but yes, Imagine Party Babies where it's a game, there are no babies, you just imagine them. And you imagine- and that they're having a party. That they're having a, a party. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys soon for more mail. <laughs>